Welcome back, our princesses. This is Theme Park Wizard Ethan, right here. From Theme Park Wizard, we have some really cool photos of the Quinjet. I just did an Avengers Campus video, actually, update from my chat. I'll link it up to the right below. Oh, sorry, right in the right corner above. Now it's on Monday. But Disney just released, or Disney and Marvel just released some new photos exclusively of the Quinjet. And I'm starting off this really cool drawing of the Quinjet, this concept art that they have of what the, when they're designing it. And it looks really, really cool. And now look at these awesome high definition photos of the Quinjet. We have just three of them, but the really, really just the way they took, again, the way they took these pictures with the sunset. It looks so, so beautiful. Like, look at that. Right now we're on the Quinjet wing as it's being lifted into place. And it just looks so gorgeous. I love the colors, by the way. That, that dark gray and that dark black, kind of blackish, dark grayish um, color scheme going on. And it fits right next to the Guardians Galaxy building. It fits, per I don't know, fits perfectly, but it definitely helps the Guardians Galaxy Mission Breakout building fit in much better and actually there's grayer tones they're repainting that side of the Guardians Galaxy Tower gray as I saw and as you've seen in uh, my uh, not this the latest Disney update but the previous Disney update we saw that as well on the side there were Disneyland President Ken Proc Ken Proc Trick Proc Trick probably messed up his messed up his name but you get what I mean um Josh Tomorrow was there as well as Kevin Feige this, I'm not sure, I, this looks like Josh Tomorrow, just the way he kind of he poses, he looks like, he seems, Josh Tomorrow has like a certain pose, and it, it seems like that's the way he would pose, I think that's Josh Tomorrow right now, touching the Quinjet, definitely not Kevin Fahey, but, again, look at it, ow, just so, so nice, like, my goodness, look at those wings and those flaps. It's just, and uh, these pictures, whatever camera they use, it's just so high, defini high definition. It's like, it's like printing it on like a magazine or something. It's like so, and I actually think that this didn't come from an online magazine article, but this is just, it just looks like jaw dropping the way they did it. And here's all three of the dudes that I just mentioned. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Fahey, Ken Patrick, and Josh Tomorrow. Here's a game. Comment below, who do you think is who? I can't tell really with the face mask on. I still think Josh Morrow's in the middle. But comment below, who do you think is to the left, middle, and right? I think Ken Patrick is to the right because Kevin Foggy doesn't have that darkest skin tone unless he's really been tanning this summer. But I don't know. I don't know. I, Josh, I, the only one I can tell is I think Josh Morrow. Oh, they actually to the left. I don't know. But there's a sunset look at Avengers Campus, by the way, with the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers, uh, the Quinjet being hoisted into place. This is taken, a, I would say, maybe last week, because as of Monday, it's, as of Monday uh, the My Chat Design update, the Aeros photo shows that it's been um, hoisted into place already. So this is probably last week sometime. But look at this shot, and this is why I made a thumbnail, because it's so great. They have all the lovely cast and crew members and the Imagineers who are working on this awesome Avengers Campus project posing what is like a topping off. It's like a, oh, this is, I feel like this is like the version of the topping off ceremony of a, of a building when, just like at the Universal, the Velocicoaster, when they finish the top hat, that's the highest point of the ride, they put a flag up, this topping off ceremony, when they top off a uh, skyscraper, put a fl American flag on there, to sh and they have a, a ceremonial beam, just like with Galaxy's Edge, a topping off ceremony, so I think that's, this is just like their topping off ceremony for Avengers Campus, obviously, for phase one, and it just looks gorgeous, look at that sunset view, and the the back of the Quinjet, those massive engines, they look they look absolutely fantastic. As soon as I saw this picture, I was like, this has to be the thumbnail for this video. It looks too too gosh darn gorgeous, uh, to put it in friendly non cursing terms. But it just looks too too great. I mean, this this is like this is like one of those again. It's like one of those promotional brochure magazine pictures i love it so what do you guys think of this close look of avengers campus or of the quinjet and what do you think 
on the Avengers Campus in general. Again, if you want to see more progress on the Avengers Campus, definitely check out my link on, on the top on the suggested videos and also and on the end screens of this video as because I will be doing or because there's uh, I did a Avengers Campus full update thanks to Mice Chat's aerial photos on Monday. So that should be up there. It should be in the, like two videos ago. It's in super, super recent videos. What do you guys think of this exclusive high definition look at the Quinjet? And what do you, uh, does this amp up your excitement for Avengers Campus even more? Let me know in the comments below. In the comments below. Subscribe for more updates. There have been some photos out there of Super Nintendo World. Um, the facade being built backstage at Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, Mondo Channel, Five Fires, he did it first look at them i'm going to try to get those photos see where he found them and do a video for my this channel tomorrow so subscribe for that they look absolutely stunning look just as, in my opinion the super nintendo world looks just as good as this quinjet so uh great stuff in the theme parks and both theme parks in southern california happening right now subscribe for more theme park updates check out my merch line down below and have a fantastic evening